In this Tobacco University video, we're going to look at the threat of spray damage to your cannabis plants and how you can kind of factors should be aware of and how you can avoid this potential issue. All right, let's look at the threat of spray damage to cannabis plants. First off, sometimes good intentions can lead to damage. So when applying anything to plants, be sure it's worthwhile and that there, there's always risk of damage. Make applications at times of low light and reduce plant stress to reduce the chance of damaging the plants. Do not make applications because you think the plant needs something. Uh, be product specific and spray with a purpose, meaning spray with something you know the plants need uh, for a given reason. If you're just kind of like, oh, I think they need this, that risk to reward factor is definitely in the chance of greater of risk than reward. So what are some sources of uh, plant damage? So while many products can be mixed, sometimes interactions can occur, and this can result in two products that are not damaging on their own can have phytotoxicity when they are mixed. Sometimes this can be seen upon immediate mixture, if you look at the container before you go and apply it. Other times it's only when it's applied, so be mindful of that. Be cautious with any new mixes of materials. Be sure to read the label of both manufacturers' product for any possible interactions and warnings. Also, be mindful of the method of application, whether it's a low-pressure mister here or a high-pressure uh, gas-powered mister. This is a great for fogging an area, but if the plants are too close, this could also cause some physical damage to the plants. Uh, are you using a spreader sticker to your applications? Spreader stickers are great additions to help coat the leaf surface uh, and increase the effectiveness of products. However, a little goes a long way with these items, so do not overadd them. Also, with the increase in uh, product uh, to the plant surface interaction, this can improve efficiency of products. So when in doubt, go with the lower range of concentrations if one is provided by the manufacturer. I mean, if the manufacturer gives you a range, I'll apply this from this rate to this rate, and you're using, utilizing a spreader sticker, you might be able to favor that kind of lower end of the range uh, to not only use less product, use less potential for contamination, but still get the same effectiveness because you'll get a better coverage. Here we can see an area where really spreader sticker really isn't used because all the water is in distinct droplets. Spreader sticker will cause it to kind of form a sheet of water over the entire leaf surface, improving the interaction. Now that method of application I hinted to earlier, uh, when applying products to your plants, a force spray application can increase the likelihood of damage. Mist blowers, as I showed you earlier, are great for large operations, but be sure the true force of the air blast is not applied directly to the plants. Stand back at several feet. Uh, a mist of material is all that's needed, so position the apl application to minimize potential plant damage by physically forcing that application um, onto the leaves. Now you want to watch out for young plant parts just in general. Uh, when making an application, you may want to avoid the newest growing portions of a plant as these are not fully expanded and will likely be the most sensitive to spray products and will likely become damaged. Damaging new plant growth has also long-term negative impacts on plant performance because you could be damaging your apical growing meristem or your side branches, reducing the amount of plant material you're going to get as you would expect. So lastly, spraying during flowering, the flowering phase that we can see right here. While you should be careful at any time you're making uh, applications to your plants, during the flowering phase warrants extra caution. Late season spraying can increase the likelihood of plants uh, failing inspection for pesticides. Also, you don't want to negatively impact your final product. So while not advised, it can be done just with even more caution than during other stages of plant development. So again, be mindful what you're spraying, spray with a purpose, be careful of your application. Make sure in the end you're doing more benefits to the plant than potential risk or harm to the plant. 